Hey, did you guys hear the news? Congress just passed another round of stimulus checks, but this time it's only $600. Coming up, I'm going to tell you the three things you should do when you receive your $600 stimulus check. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Joshua. Here, I talk about real estate investing, men's and clothes styling, and how to invest your money. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the three things you should do when you receive your stimulus check. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. The $1,200 one-time payment wasn't a lot for a lot of people. There are still 40 million Americans unemployed and then there's millions more that are facing evictions come December 31st. So with another round of only $600 that will be divvied out to the Americans, it leaves a very bad taste in my mouth. But at the end of the day, it's money and you still need to do the right thing with it to get the best out of it. Number one, get yourself some term life insurance. Now, I know that you don't like to talk about death or whatever, but it is a part of life. I mean, alone this year, over 100,000 plus Americans and millions of people across the world died from COVID-19. Um, obviously, besides COVID-19, there's a lot of different ways that you can die. And tomorrow is never promised to us, um, especially in like the black community. We, for some reason, just don't have life insurance for when the loved one pass, passes away. And honestly, it's really, I don't want to say it's annoying, but you got to understand that it's not okay to put up a GoFundMe whenever, you know, grandma pass away or little, little Joey pass away or Uncle Ben passes away. To have to put up a GoFundMe just to bury them, that, that is not the way that it should be. They should have a life insurance. There's, there's policies that are low as, you know, $30 a month that will get you $50,000 in life insurance. So please at least take some of the $600 and put it towards getting term life insurance either for yourself, for a dependent, or for any of your loved ones. Number two, save some of the money. Um, you never know when you might need some extra money for any type of emergency. Uh, obviously, you know, that could, you know, once again, we're talking about we're in a whole pandemic where a lot of people lost their jobs. Um, but besides that happening, um, there's still everyday emergencies. Um, you know, a flat tire, um, you know, um, maybe the water pump, I mean, maybe the water heater in your house broke and you know you need to get that fixed and um, that you know having that little bit of emergency fund will go a long way it's better to have some than not have it at all number three buy the essentials if you're one of those americans who is unemployed and you have an apartment but you have not paid your um paid your rent in the last couple of months just because you haven't had a job or whatever and you have a, and you get the six hundred dollars i'm i'm a big advocate of always paying your bills on time but in a situation like that buy the essentials buy food buy water buy toiletries buy whatever you need to survive because it makes no sense to be in a whole apartment but don't have any food in the refrigerator or to have any, um, you know, toiletries to, to take care of your bodily uh, functions and stuff like that. So if you do get on your feet, definitely pay your rent. But if you just simply don't have it, buy the essentials that you need to survive. Number four. And this is probably one of the most important if you want to make sure that you get your $600 stimulus check on time. Update your banking information. Make sure that you make sure that the uh, IRS has your current um, routing and checking account number or savings account number. Make sure that 
you know, with the banks that they have the proper address and stuff for you. And also with the IRS as well. Um, from what I heard that these $600 stimulus checks could be coming out as early as next week. So make sure that all your information is up to date with the federal government so you can get your money on time. Now, like I said before in the beginning of the video, $600 is not a lot, um, especially a one-time payment. But at the end of the day, it is extra money. Do what you feel is the right thing to do with it, but just don't be wasteful with the money. Don't take it and go buy the new PlayStation or the new Xbox. If if you're if you're someone that's in like a financial good situation and everything's okay, fine. You know, you can take that six hundred dollars and go blow it on whatever you want. But if you're someone who financial situation is not that good, make sure that you have all your basic needs taken care of before you go buy any frivolous things. Take care. Don't worry about it. 2021 is going to be a better year. We're going to make it through it.